Obviously the new manager's come in, uh, you've only been here for a, a couple of weeks since you joined again. How have things been? How have you felt a change in the last, from the previous manager? Yes, I have been only a few uh, weeks, only 10 days maybe, but uh, I know uh, Mick from before for a long time, so uh, I know already what to expect from him, everything what uh, he do, I already did with him before. So in terms of the system and what he wants, uh, it was not hard to adapt for me. So I'm very, in very good relationship with him. So it was not hard to adapt, even if I'm a few days on here. Do you feel it's a, a system that maybe suits you better, that gives you a lot more freedom down the, the left side? Yes, I agree. Yeah, it suits me better. Are you hoping that you know in the second half of this season that you'll be able to to flourish and show the form along with the, the teammates that you showed at times under um, you know Michael Beale when he was here with Steven Gerrard? Can you repeat, please. In terms of you know you, you say that that is a system that suits you. Do you feel that in the second half of the season the performances will be much improved? Yeah, I hope. Of course, everyone hope that. But I think that already you can see progress that. Uh, we are playing better and uh, of course this system is different so uh, I think we have as fullbacks uh, more freedom to go up and uh, I think as you said it's very good for me I think also for Tab. You've obviously not been here as long as the other players when Michael Beale's been here because you were away at the World Cup but have you seen sort of steady progression so far and you know within every training session and every game so far under the new manager? Yes. As I said, that I can see that I feel that a training, but uh, also no one is wizard and magician here. Everything needs some time to change, so we are going step by step. Starting from the training, uh, we are uh, much better at training now, but uh, uh, I think we have a lot of uh, things to improve still, and we are trying to do that, and we will do. How's the mood in the camp born after? Two each with Celtic, obviously conceding a late goal would be sore, but it's still a big point, isn't it? How's the, how's the mood going into Sunday? To be fair, we wanted three points, so for us, uh, at the end, it was disappointed, uh, especially because we considered that uh, late goal. Um, so, But uh, I can say that we forget already for the, that game, and we are now looking forward for Dundee Hoy. We heard from Adam Devine recently, who was talking about learning from the likes of Tavernier and obviously playing on that left side, playing training with you regularly. What's he like as a youngster and training? And there's a lot of good competition for places. As yeah, well. he's a very good guy. Very good guy. He wants always to learn. Uh, he's very focused on the training. I can say. Also, he is a very good player. I think he showed that uh, in previous few games what he played that he can uh, deliver. You know. And I hope he will be a big player, you know. It's nice to see young players still coming, that's very nice. Sorry, the 2-2 two -two draw on Monday, where does that leave Rangers' title chances? Where, where, the, where the chances will be, would be? The chances are still where they have been before that game. And that's it. nine points still, same. So we still have chances, so that's it. We need two wins in the next two games against Celtic? Sorry? Two wins against Celtic in the next two games? If they don't lose five, then we need. Depend. Is that realistic? Is that realistic? I don't know what's realistic, but it's possible. If you believe it's possible, I don't say that that will be easy and that that, that will happen. And that's not really realistic, but why that, why that cannot happen? Everything's possible, so. Wait. Do the players feel the Celtic game was perhaps a missed opportunity given the, the chances you had in that game? It's, uh, of course, it is a missed opportunity, but uh, it's not the end of the season, you know. It's not last opportunity, as I said. We have a lot of games more to play. They have also. They can lose two games and then we win and we are here, you know. So uh, everything's possible, but this was a big chance, of course. This was a big, big chance and uh, yes, we missed that. Michael Beale's been talking about looking into the players' eyes to see what's really behind them and see if they, they are part of the cause and want to be here. Has, has he been doing that with yourself? Have you noticed the manager taking a, a specific interest in your character? And what, what does he see behind your eyes? I don't know. You need to ask him that question. I don't know. I cannot answer. So, in, and if I put it in other words, then what, 
What sort of differences have you have you seen um, in yourself since returning from from the World Cup? Do you feel like a, a hungrier player? Hungrier player. I was always being hungry, but uh, you know it's different because uh, different system. I think it suits more to me. I have more freedom to go up, to cross, and uh, it's better for me. But uh, I'm always hungry. You know, you need to be. How do you assess Dundee United? They're a team that are obviously <laughs> desperate for three points in that end of the table, but they've had an upturn in form as well, so it'll be, I'm sure, a difficult game Sunday. Yeah, it will be difficult. It's always difficult over there to play. Uh, we know that uh, it's hard pitch, not really good. And uh, yeah, they have ups and downs, but I think that, have, uh, that they have a good team. They will give us a good battle for sure, but uh, we are going there to win. Alfredo Morales has been getting a lot of criticism, Borna. Do you think that's unfair? And do you hope that he can, or do you think he can still be an important player for the team? Listen, this question more for him, but not for me. But uh, criticism are normal in football, right? I always said people criticize Cristiano Ronaldo and Leo Messi. Why they would not criticize Alfredo or me, who we are nothing? So. Uh, the thing is, criticism are normal in football. If you play good, everyone will say you play good. If you play bad, people will say that you play bad. But the uh, thing only is to, you need to look at yourself, trying to improve every day, every game. But you always need to know that there will be always some bad games. That's, that's just normal.